Hi y'all, so this is chapter six of Glory B. So we just finished chapter five where Jessalyn went to the library supposedly to go um, plan Mary Louise's birthday party with her. And Glory doesn't think that she's actually going there. She thinks she's sneaking out and going somewhere else. So Glory is going to the library to follow Jessalyn to see if she's there. So chapter six, Twirling Fire. I hid behind a giant oak tree and looked into the library window then over towards Fireman's Park. Jessalyn was nowhere to be seen. I licked ice cream from my dreamsicle off my fingers, wiped them clean on my shorts, and pushed open the heavy door into the library. And still no Jessalyn. I'd been helping Miss Bloom all summer, so I knew my way around the library. I sneaked downstairs past the storerooms. I had turned the corner near a box of old newspapers that stunk worse than dead catfish. Just as I was about to give up ever finding my sister, I caught a whiff of Evening in Paris, her perfume. A rumbling floor fan made it hard for me to hear, but it was definitely Jesslyn's voice coming from inside a room down the hall. That was Jesslyn's perfume, too. Another voice chimed in that didn't sound one bit like Mary Louise Williams planning a birthday party. I pressed up against the wall, holding my breath. I love Elvis Presley. I have every one of his records, Jesslyn was saying. Me too. But I had to leave them back in North Carolina when I left so fast, I heard a voice say. Elvis and me, we even have the same middle name, Aaron. Did you know that Aaron is Elvis's middle name? As if Jesslyn didn't own a scrapbook full of Elvis stuff and even a plaster Paris Elvis statue. She was liable to stand up and start singing Love Me Tender right then. I held my breath and leaned around the door for a look. There was a boy with long sideburns sitting real close and talking to Jess Lynn. I ducked back before they caught me. You look like a little bit like Elvis, Jess Lynn was saying. I almost gagged. Maybe we can drive up to Memphis to see Elvis's fancy house, the voice with sideburn said. Or maybe Tupelo, where Elvis was born. You reckon your daddy do mine? Now, as sure as I knew my own middle name, our daddy, Brother Joe Hempfill, would no sooner let his daughter drive out of town with a strange boy with the same middle name as Elvis than he'd let her fly to the moon. My daddy won't mind a bit, my sister said. Lordy, Jesslyn was in trouble for sure. I hurried out of the library, back across the street, and sat down at the kitchen table to drink a glass of cold milk. Daddy sat next to me, working on his crossword puzzle, when Jesslyn waltzed in breathless like she'd seen the real Elvis. Hey, honey, Daddy said. You get what you needed at the library? And he went back to his puzzle. Yes, sir, Daddy. She didn't even look at me. And Mary and Louise and I were talking just now. We need to go to Memphis to buy stuff for her birthday and our batons for pep squad. Batons? Don't you already have a baton? Our daddy glanced up, but he kept his number two pencil perched right on the paper so he wouldn't lose his place. Do you know a six-letter word for a mythical creature? Jesslyn stood with her hand on her hip. She did that a lot lately. She didn't answer daddy's crossword question. The one I need is a fire baton. I'm learning how to twirl fire. She dragged fire out like she was about to star in Mr. Wrangling's Big Top Circus. Now, you'd think Daddy would have at least put his pencil down and thought a little bit about his oldest daughter traveling to Memphis to buy a fire baton. But no, he kept worrying over that six-letter word for a mythical creature. I'll think on it, Daddy finally said. Mary Louise's cousin is driving. She's had her license for a long time, Jesslyn said. Is that her Aunt Betty's girl? Daddy knew most everybody in Hanging Moss. My sister paused for a quick second before answering. No, sir, she said. It's somebody you've never met. And that's the end of chapter six. So when you go to your Google form, there are three questions for you to answer. The first one is, what problem have we encountered so far before our reading today? So in chapters one, two, three, and four, there was a problem in Hanging Moss, Missouri that is a problem all over the South. But we saw when Laura um, Lambert came to town and met Glory, Glory was like, oh no, she's drinking out of the wrong fountain. There's two fountains as far as I've ever known. 
And Emma says something about her pool. She said, I reckon yours pool, your pool is a lot better and a lot less cracks in it than some of the other pools in town, which we can infer since Emma is black that it would be the black pool in town since things were segregated. So that's for question one for you to think about. Question two asks about the problem that um, Glory has with Jesslyn in chapters four and five. Okay, so Jesslyn and Glory had this great relationship last summer where they played together, they did junk poker, their little card game, they pushed their beds together, they stayed up all night giggling and talking and playing. And this summer, Jesslyn has changed a lot. She's almost in high school, she's grown up, and she feels like she's outgrown Glory, but Glory still wants to be close to her sister and she still wants to hang out with her. And so that causes a problem for Glory also. The third problem has to do with this last chapter and Jesslyn's big secret where she says she was um, planning a birthday party with Mary Louise, but she wasn't. She was actually with somebody else. And when, we, when he says that his middle name is Aaron and that he has sideburns, which is kind of like a, the beard that like goes to here, it's like part of your hair, we can infer that she's with a boy. And we know that with her daddy being a preacher, he's not going to let her go out driving with some boy. So there are three big problems in our story so far. When you go to the Google form, it's multiple choice. So for question one, you're going to choose the best choice. And same with question two and three. You'll submit your answers, and it should give you your score right then. If not, let me know, and I'll let you know how you did. All right, guys. I'll see you next time.